Want to learn how attackers can gather device info and how to test defenses safely? Today I'll show you how to install Stormbreaker on Kali Linux step by step. Ethical use only, always get permission. Let's jump in. Open your browser and type GitHub Stormbreaker. Copy the clone URL. Clone the Stormbreaker repository and navigate into it. Clone the repository using the git clone command. Update your system packages. Run sudo apt update and wait for it to finish. Now install the required dependencies. Now start the installation by running the command sudo bash install.sh Ignore any error message. It won't affect the program. To start the program run, python3st.py Here we have two options localhost and grok. Ngrok is a hosted tunneling service that creates secure, public URLs which forward traffic into a local machine or service running behind NAT slash firewalls. Ngrok requires you to sign up for an auth token for stable tunnels. Now I already have a Ngrok account, if you don't have go ahead and sign up. These are the installation steps. Copy the code and paste to your terminal and press enter. Okay. 
scroll down and copy the command and paste it in the terminal to add your auth token. Next copy the ngrok HTTP 2525 and paste it in a new terminal. Now open the forwarding URL link in your browser. Default username is admin, lowercase and password also admin lowercase. Here we have five links. Each link collects specific information from the target. So now we have our links. Now we just have to choose the delivery method. In this video I will use a QR code generator, cause I will use my phone and scan the link. Now we have a generated QR code from the link and I will now scan and we can see the result. I have scanned the code and now we are getting some results. We have OS name which is iOS. We can see browser name mobile safari meaning iPhone and we also have an IP address. Now I want to scan with an Android phone so we can see how the result looks like. Now we have data coming from the Android phone, we have OS name, Android, browser name, Chrome. Now let's copy the camera link and paste it in our QR code generator. Now we can see a file has been saved and we have the file path. Now navigate to the folder using the GUI and view the files. That's it, Stormbreaker installed and running on Kali Linux. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more ethical OSINT and penetration testing tutorials. Drop a comment if you want to follow up on automating tests or a walkthrough of each module. Thanks for watching.